So you have one ally in the hizzy, and that is your um, big friend. My buddy Stench, a real man, unlike Roberto. Keep in mind that your big friend tonight on UPN (laughs) also has customized license plates that say, I'm a DJ. <laughs> God, do, I, do I have to have his back since he had mine? Uh, I get a license plate. For my frame I'm getting is going to say Stench, Jamie and Danny show. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I hate that. I went to the gym one time in my in a, just one of those Star 98.7 T-shirts, just because it was round. And I got to the gym, and some girl looks at me and goes. Just how bad do you need to be recognized? Oh. It's like that. I went, lady, it's a t shirt. God. Oh, that's not good. I know. I felt shame. Um, but you know, we were talking about customized plates, and we've talked about this before. I personally don't like them, but I will tell you this the people that um, have fooled me or, or stumped me send me over the edge. Yeah. That can, that can give me a full out like panic attack and anger. Yeah, if you can't figure out what they yes. mean. The other one I don't like. Is the one you're trying to figure out when it dawns on you, it's not a personalized play. <laughs> I, know, I know. It just kind of says Gap 984. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's what mine says. <laughs> but Jack's going to make one that seems like it is kind of one, but isn't really one. Right. So people like me go over the edge. Because I actually am like, I want to... I want to pull them over and ask. Right. And then I think, well, I'm just going to write this down and bring it to the radio and ask people. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I used, to, <laughs> I used to take the appropriate colored masking tape, electrical tape, and change the letters and numbers on mine, just one or two, in case I ever had to get away from something. But that's nice. <laughs> oh. But you know what, though? You're also the guy that wears um, a polo shirt tucked into his sweatpants. At the gym. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. And you know what else he has in his car? What? The In N Out Burger sticker cut, so it says In N Out Urge. Have you seen those? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I have it on the Viper. Oh, damn. Well, along with Calvin peeing. Yeah. yeah. A couple of my favorites. No, Jack went over the edge yesterday because there was an older gentleman in the gym and he had on a polo shirt that was tucked into his sweats. It was hot. <laughs> and you dolphins. Know because I don't own any polo shirts, I'm screaming no. But, I mean, just to be frank, I couldn't swear I wouldn't do it. <laughs> 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 I think it's an age thing. I think, yeah. like, right at a certain age, you, you do it. I, I don't know that I would do it over I just wouldn't know not to do it. There are some people that shouldn't tuck. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I it's, think it's, it's the polo shirt, but it's the polo shirt tuck, too. I mean, it's the whole combo, really. Yeah, I don't. I'm not one of those people that knows how to dress at all. And at what age do you just start wearing elastic band? Oh yeah, like 65. Fat. And when you're too fat, fat to wear regular clothes. No, it's clothes. like an older thing too because your arthritis won't allow you to button and zip. <laughs> Everything my grandparents wear is elastic or Velcro. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I like wow. it when they get the Velcro shoes. Yeah, those make me happy. Those. Yeah. Dante has Velcro shoes. And I mean, you can't I'm not even, a kid to tie. I'm not even making fun because think about it, you guys. Our hands are going to get into a place where you cannot button anything. My hands are already a bit iffy. They've been through a lot. Mine are like this because I scratch people's eyes out. <laughs> it, it takes me a minute or two of moving them around in the morning till they don't hurt. It sucks to be old. It sucks to be me, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, our phones, without a doubt, will work. Good. I have been promised that. By whom? The promise man. Oh, I always believe the promise man. (laughs) So tomorrow our phones will be working. Right now they're not, but you know, what the hell ever. Um, Here's the thing. I guess in Star Magazine, the new one that's coming out, you guys are going to hear all about uh, Cindy Crawford and and that Gerber. Randy Gerber. Gerber. I guess he cheats on her. That makes me sad. Like all the time. Why does that make you sad? Because I really like them as a couple, and they look like that happy little family, you know? Like uh, their kids are adorable, and they just look like... She should just ignore it. Well, I guess she did once, and then she gave him a second chance, and then he screwed it um, up again. It's If they agreed to that lifestyle, then that's one thing. Otherwise, it's just humiliating. Yeah, it's just mean. You know? I mean, that's the thing. And um, I think, really, the last good celebrity couple left is is uh, Brad and Jen. Yeah, but they're too new to count. I guess. We've only been married a couple years, right? Right. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't count. But to me, I mean, like if I find out that that guy cheats, I'm just going to... You know I mean, what? I have no faith in marriage. Because you never hear anything about about Brad Pitt. I don't think he's the big tramp that Colin Farrell is. Oh, did you read that story about Colin Farrell? Tell them. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my God. Colin yes. Farrell knew he whore of the century. 
is at the Newsroom Cafe uh, in Santa Monica. He's sitting there with a former Miss USA when this girl walks up and says, boy, I don't even know how to couch the words. You, you gotta be careful. You're an effing A? Yeah. You're, I mean, oh, I just put in the she dirtiest words. And she's him. screaming at the top of her lungs in a public place. You know, when a guy sleeps with me and says he'll call, I expect an effing call, blah, 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 blah. And he turns to the, his date and he goes, this has nothing to do with you, sweetie. Then picks up a pitcher of beer and dumps it on his head right there in the restaurant. How great is for that? For everybody to see. That's awesome. No, but, what, but remember her quote after she threw the beer on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank yeah. you very much because I don't have the story in front of me. She said, here, this is for you. Dumps the beer all over his head and goes, because this booze makes you lousy in bed. How great is that? Nice. <laughs> that made me laugh. I mean, I... I'd love to see something like that, except when it's happening to me. I've only done it twice. Dump the beer or dump whatever? Yeah, threw wine in somebody's face. No. Uh-huh. Only twice? Only twice. Mm-hmm. Then I know about both of them. Uh, yeah. They're both at this company. No, uh, I threw one at, at our boss. Right. Yeah, remember that? Was that DeCastro or? No, it was, uh, it's, uh, whatever his name is. No, no, no. Oh, hell, it doesn't matter. I, I saw him in Paris. We're friends. Right. I love him. God, why can't I remember? It doesn't matter. Right. Anyway, him. And remember he sent me flowers the next day mm-hmm. saying it was wrong? Which was weird. <laughs> the wine in a guy's face get roses. And then FP. And those are the only two times? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm really not much of it. I like to drink it, not really throw it. Right, right. <laughs> um, also, I have to check up on something to see what's, where stench is on this. I have, uh, I've been, uh, what do you call it? Campaigning, I guess. I'm, I'm still looking for my. Um... Jace. Hey. Hey. You're on the radio and we don't have a delay, so be careful. So I better not say F. Right. <laughs> hey, I was just wondering, did you get my um, invitation to Tori Spelling's wedding yet? I don't think the Tories got love for the Jame. She used to love me. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. You want to bet? She was nice to you when she saw you because she didn't want to get killed on the radio, but I don't think she ever had love for See, you. See, a lot of people do that, too. No, Jane. you know why? I know she loved me. Why? Because she said, love you people, Mwah, when we left. Oh, she, she was mocking, mocking you. Mocking you. Hold on. I don't believe it. She acted like she was my friend. Who are you calling? Robert. He saw the whole thing. Yeah. What? Robert. Robert just went down. I didn't know it was possible for Robert's stock to go down in Man World, but it did. Oh, now he's not answering. Great. I'm telling you. Hello. This is Robert. Hello. Robert? Yes. Didn't Tori Spelling love me? She loved you. I thought she was a stalker, actually. See, that's how much she loved me. Okay, my card holder, I've never been so upset in my life. I'm gonna and buy now, you. And now I thought Tori Spelling was stalking you. Stench, Can did you, you hear react? that? Can you react in any kind of normal way? He's no. lying to you. He's not lying. He, he was lying. there he when was we were there. We were all drinking together. Yeah. Yeah, but you're stupid. Who? You're fat. Robert. Oh, you're fat. <laughs> wow. Robert's stupid and wears bad clothes that cost a lot. Oh. You wear polyester. There's nothing worse than that. <laughs> I win. I got it from your mom. Oh! oh! His mother is dead. Perfect. Oh. oh. Double winner. You are evil. Oh, my God. Oh. I am going to take you down. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear Stan's kind of going, uh-oh, what have I said? Oh, my God. The polyester wearing dead mom. I know. He I, has sunk into an all-time low. I thought only you did stuff like that. Oh. Oh, my God. Dan's pulling into his space. Hi, Dan. Oh. Uh, close to the sunroof. Dan uh, just pulled into his space, and he thought we weren't looking at him because he Why looked up. Why think we're not looking at him? Well, because sometimes, you know, we're on the air and stuff, like right now. He's early. What bothers me? What? We're not on delay, which means why isn't he looking up here yet? What station is Dan listening no, to? No, he already has it off. Oh, he has the car off. Yeah, all right. Um, but anyway, he backed up and he put it back yeah. in the spot perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's putting on his ID pass. Oh, he, his ID pass usually goes in the hatchback. In the trunk, yeah. Why is, it up why is the ID pass now in oh, the front seat? Oh, he put up the sunscreen. Oh, he put yeah. up the sunscreen. Wave at him, Danny, because yesterday he's he... behind the sunscreen. Oh, he waved at us yesterday. We were very excited. Spot number 90, Dan Dan the Hatchback Man. 
What's he wearing today? He's not out of the car. He's still hiding behind that sunscreen. Oh, my God. So Dan backed up and replaced the car perfectly in between the lines. He has to have enough space on each side. <laughs> my life is complete I don't know why I love that so much we have just been it must be so creepy for him to drive into work because we're just staring at him every what's day what's he wearing is he limping five stories down we're just staring oh. at him we gotta get binoculars hey he but, doesn't have his bag today <gasps> Dan you forgot your bag and he didn't go to the hatchback and pop the back well, he I chopped know, up Scott and hit the body <laughs> well that's because he put his ID patch in the front yeah. yeah, he's changing it up. Yeah, <laughs> but he did back out and put it back in. Yeah, I in. saw oh, that. Perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> I love Dan. Uh, all right, so that was Dan Dan, the hatchback Luckily, man. Luckily, because normally sometimes when we fixate on something as stupid as spot number 90, I think, well, this is one of those things that only pleases us. But I get asked about Dan a lot. I think people love the people Dan. People love Dan. I was at Sizzler, and the people next to us, and the table next to us, recounted the whole Dan Dan the Hatchback <laughs> Man thing for weeks on, like, everything leading really? up. Really? It was amazing. Well, at first I thought we should, uh, you know, get another one, like get another guy and just, like, stalk him. Life, yeah, yeah, but I think Dan is just fun. Dan's our guy. And Plus, we're going, we're to, going, a going to the pool party. Yeah, we're going to the pool party and a barbecue. Yeah, yeah. we got to bring pool toys. And nobody yeah. barbecues like gay guys. Pool toys. Available at jamiewhite.com. Special kind. Is that what we're calling them now? Pool well, toys. No, you know what? I do have a vibrating duck. Yes. Yep, I, I do. I know. You played with her vibrating uh, duck? Yeah. And some of the uh, appliances are waterproof to use in your shower. Neat. Yeah, I'm full service agency. Yeah, check out jamiewhite.com <laughs> for all your pool toy needs. <laughs> anyway. Hey, what's up with this uh, Princess Diana secret tapes? I don't know. It says it's on tonight on NBC, 10 to 11 p.m., part one of two. Part one of do. Uh, secret audio tapes that were made by Andrew Morton for the 1992 biography, Diana, her true story. Um, in the tapes, Diana talks all about Prince Charles cheating on her. Mm-hmm. That guy. Her, he's, with that dog face girl. Oh, Can you she, imagine cheating on Lady Di with JoJo, the dog face boy? Yeah, but when you got a frigid hot chick, you'll, yeah. you'll go to But the, I mean, even when you've got uh, a, a, a willing hot chick like Cindy Crawford, guys cheat. Yeah, but this one had issues. She, she did. She had struggle with bulimia and tension in the royal family. There was tension in the royal family. Well, didn't somebody like last week or something last month, last year, say that she said, if I ever die, here's who did it? Yes. And they she won't did. tell? No, she said, uh, if I ever Charles. die, it was Charles. She did? Uh-huh. Was I out that day? Yes. Okay. Did you fix the phones yet? Working on it. Chuck's here. I saw him. Why won't Chuck come and see us? He probably has something better to do. Underlying issues. Uh, There's another one of these modules in Leland's room, so he's probably working on that one. Uh, or Ryan Seacrest needed him. Possibly. All right, anyway. Uh, all right, so Princess Diana, The Secret Tapes, part one of Do. do- 10 to 11 p.m. on NBC. Um, so she didn't, who are they secret to? She didn't know? No. She she recorded them, I think, with the belief that they would never be aired. Thus being secret? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> another Dan. No, we're not what picking another one. No. No. Why is doing double backups in a BMW? <laughs> oh, he's what just trying. He listens. He's just trying to steal Dan's yeah. ass. Yeah. You're no dad, punk. <laughs> Guy, chicken face. Dan hasn't dusted his car in a very long time. Yeah, Dan should. Uh, now that he's waving to us, he should just take all our commands. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 12 things. First okay. of all, um, I would like to tell you that Tori Spelling is my friend. She hates you. Yeah. I've she, called all of her people twice this week. And she was not mocking me. And there's been no reply at all. She was mocking you. Yeah. Love you, people. Mwah. She actually gave you the kiss off. What more do you want? <laughs> I'm sure I'm invited to the wedding. And then she rolled her eyes and called you a biatch <laughs> as she walked away. Yep. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> you were not. She was nice to me. We were friends. We bonded. Yep. Just like you and your friend Jen and, and Brad. Although I don't know that they hate you. No, they were nice to her. I yeah. just saw that with my own eyes. <laughs> I mean, they're not like, nice they're not, notice there's still no, no invitation to anything, but at least they were actually nice. Huge star. Yeah. 
Now, Tori was just giving you the blow off and, and ridiculing you. <laughs> no, Tori and I are going to have lunch later. That, that's Jamie White over there. Hey, watch this. Love you people. <laughs> you see no, she doing? sat and drank with us, and then we talked about the orthodontist, and it made me sad, and then... Um, and uh, She it, mocked you about your man, and yeah. then gave no, you the kiss she off. Went to Is him. there a, not a being this celebrity in town that hasn't slept with his old, her old boyfriend? She went to him with her so boyfriend. So did you. With her boyfriend, her fiance, because he was there. He's like, he's a nice guy. Oh, yeah, he'd never cross that line. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She just loves me. This yes, I know. No. He's a Jew, so he doesn't think so. Very nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see here. There was a tsunami warning in Colorado. Really? Woo! Yeah. How do you have a tsunami wa- a warning in Colorado? Uh, remember, T. Son Amy. Right. But with an I. Um, a tsunami warning was accidentally broadcast. Ah. Right smack dab in the middle of Colorado. Somebody hit the wrong button. The town is in the middle. This town, uh, Gypsum, is in the middle of Colorado, about 1,500 miles from the nearest ocean. Can you imagine a tsunami warning? Yeah, I thought you needed an wow. ocean to have a tsunami. Well, I'd be panicked. Well, That's one hell of a wave. Yeah, and it's kind of weird because there was a little minor uh, earthquake this morning. So if you're like, oh, my God. It, Here it it's comes. Coming, yeah. I told you to put up the tsunami survival kit. I told you I'm putting a raft on top of my house. As well you should, because you're going to need an ark. You're like a block away. You're going to wash away. Put your whole house on pontoons. So yeah. it your whole house. Yeah. yeah. Do you know in the in the flatlands, in the low-lying areas in southern Illinois, there are actually trailers on stilts? Really? <laughs> yeah. That's neat. Builder Bob was so impressed. He's like... Whoa! That's an engineering marvel. Even campers, because some poor people live in campers. They have campers on stilts. That's on the cool. wetlands? On the wetlands. And he said, do they realize that right up there is high ground? They could just move over. He was not very nice to the poor people. Put camper on stilts under my list of things I'm doing. <laughs> Here's something that's sad. I don't know what you feel like when you, when you know this happened. Uh, so this guy is having a garage sale, right? He doesn't like this painting. What happens? A guy comes by, picks it up for five bucks. Mm-hmm. What's it turn out to be? A million dollar painting. <laughs> nice. I hate that. <laughs> I hate it for the guy that sold it. Yeah. Do you think he knows now? Probably, huh? Yeah. Nana, nana, boo, boo. Because he was contacted by the news. They're doing news of the really stupid people that got ripped off. Let me ask you something. Do you think that's one of those things you can get over? <laughs> no. Selling the, the painting? The piece of junk painting for five bucks? And do you think that Hilda is in there going, I told you, Fred, we didn't have to sell that painting. Antique Roadshow. <laughs> I know. Do you think somebody's getting bitched at? Yes. And that they sit there and they just rock back and forward and or forth. Yeah. And, and just think, oh, my God, what might have been? Yes, I think that's what happens to the rest of their pathetic little lives. And then the next thing they know, they're in a camper on stilts. With Tori spelling as their friend. (laughs) (laughs) What? Well, you leave and then we start talking. Yeah. But not really, like, mean. But this is kind of funny. So I don't know why, but, you know, you left or something like that. and um, I got a, a croissant sandwich without the croissant. And, and you were out in the hall, and I could see you, and I, I'm like, keep away from the den or whatever, you know, in the room. Okay. And then I say, I told Stench, he's your friend. you got to go play with him. You know how we do that mm-hmm. crap. And um, and he goes, no, you got to play with him. And I said, why don't you spend the whole weekend with him? And then she offered me money. I did. Okay. And then I said, well, how much money? <laughs> so I said, you have to, bring to go. bring your kids? You, uh, no, it's just him. Okay, oh, no. you can help with my kids. Well, this is what I th- and this is my fear. I said, A, out of all the torturing we do to each other, I couldn't eat or drink anything the entire weekend because God knows what he would do to it to get me back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd be a tortured. welcome guest. So I said, okay. You my ha- wife lives there. She wouldn't let anything happen to you. Right. And I said, actually, it might be like a spa. You could swim in the herpy pool and oh. <laughs> lay out. The herpy pool. <laughs> <laughs> the herpy <laughs> pool. <laughs> With the frappuccino foam on top. It's a very clean and nice pool. <laughs> So I said, you have to go home with him on Friday after work mm-hmm. and then come back with him Monday morning. Perfect. And I offered him $200. 
And he said, no. So I got up to thirty five hundred dollars, <laughs> and yeah. he still said no. Well, you know what? I I would He's not. Exhausting. I would not go to Stench's house for money either. I would have him at my house just to have him over. But my house is like a fun, weekend. crazy house. I think his house would just be boring and weird. But, the whole weekend. But thirty five hundred dollars. So guess who's going? Jack. 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 Yeah, fine. Awesome. <laughs> Friday. Bring Lucy. But he's not. No, no. It has to just be him. There are rules. And he can't leave the premises. Yeah, Dan Land is the game. You know what's funny? <laughs> if you if you remain honest, you'll have a lovely time. <laughs> Gretchen will cook us dinner. Watch a lot of History Channel and yeah, I know. He was like, he's oh, fine no, with it. History Channel, that's boring. There's like 10 TVs no. in my house. And there's another rule. Jack has to drink the whole time so that you're annoyed with him. <laughs> <laughs> and have food fights with himself. <laughs> oh, not throwing food, dude. So not then, funny. Then the game escalated. We both go. We, I was only gone a minute. How did you guys get all this? And then we see which one of us you throw out first or which one of us quits the game first. And we're going to have UPN tape it. It's like Big Brother, but it's Big Dan. Yeah. Big Dan <laughs> I think Land. you guys would have a wonderful time. There's a lot to do. <laughs> There's diapers to change. But then exactly. Stench said Mine. to Jack, it's one of those things like, you won't come back the same, Jack. Mm-hmm. You won't be able to sleep. I'm much weirder here than at home because no Gretchen has kind of the control in the house. So for thirty five hundred dollars, Jack goes to your house after the show. This Friday? Uh huh. Well, he'll be lonely. Where are you going? I've got that secret thing I'm taking Gretchen to on Friday night. Ah oh, hell. Next Friday. Okay. And then he stays until Monday morning. Great. <laughs> I think that's awesome. I know. I think that's crazy. I'd do it for thirty five hundred dollars. Easy money. Yeah. yeah you, you, well, see, Jack he has won't. been to my home. Jack Here's no- my deal. I haven't slept already in a week. There's no way I'm going anywhere. I'm just going this weekend and sleeping at home with my wife and my kids. That's but you it. can't. You can't bring your kid, and you can't leave the premises. Okay. Just of all that he can't bring the kid is a huge uh, bonus round for Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Score. <laughs> I'll sleep. Yeah. There's a back room that like is really hard to get to and almost soundproof. It's Friday, Saturday. No, no. he can't live in the guest house. He has to Not stay guest with house, you. guest room. With you. He has to sleep in the bed with Like him. handcuffed to you. He has to be with you every Remember that show where they handcuff bit. those people? Yeah, funny. Oh, my God. We have to handcuff you. Yes. Well, now I need $3,500, and you're okay. Remember, what was that show? Was that? Uh, and they handcuffed Shipmates. The... Wasn't that no, it? Ship. No, Ship. Because they did. No, I don't know. They handcuffed everybody. Uh, chain, the... uh, chains, chains of Love. Oh, right. oh, that was retarded. Now... For the show, <laughs> will you come in and deliver, or are you just going to come in and go, hey, everybody, because nothing happens at my house. No, it's going to be like a real reality show. There'll be twists. Like in the middle, like at 11 o'clock at night when your whole family goes to bed, he calls over his fat, obnoxious friend. <laughs> so big, fat, obnoxious lover comes over. <laughs> now that's different. We party and slide down your uh, staircase banister. It's going to be great. <laughs> Okay. 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 We have to have tape. This is worth watching. It really is. Can we tell ghost stories? <laughs> to your kids, it will horrify them. My kid gets play, freaked out yeah, easier. Yeah, play Ouija yeah. board. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then my friend Tori and I will come over. Hmm. Okay. Remember when this was based in reality? <laughs> it's reality TV. You guys want to come over to my house? For 3500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Play with